Hey, fantasy owners, want to get paid this year? Perhaps the key is identifying guys like you, ones whose 2016 performance can set them up for generational wealth. Okay, maybe not just like you. Though it's tough to forecast how guys will respond after getting paid, just ask the Seahawks, Washington, and Seattle about Sean Alexander, Albert Hainsworth, and Percy Harvin. It's generally a safe bet players save their best for a contract year when they're betting on themselves. Think Von Miller and Malik Jackson during Denver's defensively dominant Super Bowl run. How about Josh Norman going from anonymous to arguably the NFL's best cornerback last year for Carolina? Chris Ivory, Marvin Jones, and Lamar Miller are three more players who turned in big 2015 campaigns just in the nick of time. Sure, tracking supporting casts, health, and matchups, among other areas, remains critical in your fantasy prep. But how about chasing the green by chasing guys who are doing the same? Hi, Arthur Arkish with Pro Football Weekly, giving you five intriguing fantasy football players in contract years worth considering. Number five, Bills quarterback Tyrod Taylor. PFW web editor John Solly was the captain of Team Tyrod last season, but I think we can safely anoint Adisa Bakari into that role this year. That's right, Bakari is Taylor's agent, in the rare position of seeing his client, a potential franchise quarterback, poised to enter a contract year in the prime of his career. Taylor was at times scintillating at others subpar in his first season as the starter, compelling Buffalo to, wisely we think, make him do it for more than 14 starts before opening up the Pagula's vault. Yet the 26-year-old would have been a top 5 fantasy quarterback had he not missed two games because of injuries, and his mobility and big arm could give him a Cam Newton-like ceiling. Just ask Tyrod. Number 4, Packers running back Eddie Lacy. The key to Lacey feeding his family for the distant future is by showing great discipline when he feeds himself in the present. We all know he can't play at 250 plus pounds again or Green Bay's ground attack will be the James Starks and Zach Crockett show. A shame because Aaron Rodgers and Jordy Nelson are preparing a special presentation and Lacey is far and away the most special back in their stable. Remember, Lacey showed off freight train power with fleet feet during two top six fantasy finishes in his first two seasons before getting caught from behind by Starks and the Cardinals defense a year ago. Number three, Bears wide receiver Alshon Jeffrey. Alshon gets a red shirt contract year after red flags in the form of multiple soft tissue injuries derailed his 2015 and prompted the Bears to slap the franchise tag on him. Like Lacey, Jeffrey's 2015 owners will require a leap of faith before embarking on a potentially frustrating fantasy journey yet again. But also like with Lacey, Jeffrey had two elite fantasy seasons under his belt prior to last year's hiccup, and in Alshon's case, he remained dominant when on the field. Chicago's skyscraping wideout would have been a top 10 receiving commodity had he stayed healthy, like he did while playing 32 consecutive games the previous two seasons. Number 2, Cardinals wide receiver Michael Floyd. It's all in front of Floyd, residents in a prolific scoring offense, a great supporting cast, overseen by a coach who designs offenses as if he's playing fantasy football himself. Larry Fitzgerald's also in a contract year, but rest assured Floyd, who's six years younger and roughly six steps faster, is the one who can entice Steve Kime to crack open the Bidwell's checkbook by realizing his full potential. The last part is key. The former first rounder Floyd has flashed elite field stretching ability and he finished last season on a tear, but he has the same number of 1,000 yard seasons, just one, as John Smokey Brown in twice the number of NFL campaigns. Number 1. Patriots tight end Martellus Bennett You'd have better luck playing Lotto than guessing what the unpredictable Bennett will do on any given day. Now he couples with the greatest tight end of all time while joining Josh McDaniel's innovative offense. Can the black unicorn play the Aaron Hernandez role before Hernandez was locked up? Will Bennett fall in line under Bill Belichick or wear out his welcome in a fourth locker room? Remember, he's still just 29 and two years removed from leading all tight ends and catches and narrowly missing a 1,000-yard season. That was with Mark Trussman, Jay Cutler, and Josh McCown. After being unhappy about his contract under John Fox and Adam Gase a year ago, he goes to the fertile fantasy environment of McDaniels, Gronk, and Brady. That'll do it for today's game plan, which we'd love for you to comment on, share, and like if you've enjoyed it. I'm Arthur Arkish with Pro Football Weekly, back soon with more fantasy football for thought. Thanks for watching.